Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to the 7th video in this React.js tutorial series. In this video we will go through HTTP requests, how you can fetch data from an API and how you can map data using the JavaScript built-in function. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So basically what we will do in this video is get an array of data from an API and in our case, we will use a GitHub repository, which has a JSON file. And if you, if we click right here, which we can see the raw content of it, there is a link which displays an array with all of those data. And what we can do is basically fetch those data. So we can request for this API. So basically the API is this URL up here, the, this is the endpoint of the API. So we send a GET request to this API and we basically request for the data. And what this endpoint will return to us is this array right here. First of all, before we continue on the code, I want to show you a package we will use called Axios. And what Axios does is help us with those HTTP requests we will send to the endpoint. So if I scroll right here, you can see we have an example here. So first we require the module, and then what we basically do is Axios. So we use the Axios module, and then we use a built-in function called dot get, and that dot get function has as a parameter the URL. So basically here in this URL, instead of using this endpoint, we will use this one right here, the one we want to fetch data from. And have in mind, there are multiple HTTP requests. So we have the get request, we have the post request, and then we have two more, I think, I'm not missing any, but those are the most important, the post and the get. So let me explain briefly what each one does. So with get, we basically, it says it as well, it gets data from that endpoint. But with post, we send data to that endpoint. So first of all, let's go to our application and install Axios. So I'll copy this one right here. Go to application, go to terminal, in your terminal, and then run npm Axios. But we have to do dash dash save. We do that because when we want to deploy our application, in order for the web hosting to know which packages we have downloaded, we have to use the dust as save. But more details on that in other videos. After finishing this video, you can go here and you can host your own React application. So yeah, let's continue. So now that we installed Axios, let me delete the terminal and let me delete what we had done the previous time and just leave an empty div and delete everything here and uh, yeah let's just do that so now first thing we will do is go back to axios and go to the example and basically copy the example so first of all i'll copy this one right here which basically requires axios so we can use it but we cannot require it in react in react it's different what we have to do is import inside of const, then axios, then instead of require, we will do from, and then what we have inside of here, which is axios. So, axios. And now let's delete that. So that's how we can import a module. After that, what we basically need to do is whenever we visit the page, get those data, save it in a state, and then map the state, which is an array, and show all of the data we fetched. So to do that, first of all, we will use the use effect. So we can run a function when the page loads, when someone visits the page. So, and this is what we want to use. And let's do this one right here. So axios.get, and then once we get some data, we use the dot then, and then we do something with that data. First of all, let me change the endpoint. So we will go back and copy this endpoint. Let me format it. Right. Now dot then, and the dot then gives us a response 
which gives you some other data as well like the status of the page and some other data which i don't want to go through that right now but we might go through that more extensively in future videos so rest of data gives us the data from that endpoint so instead of console.log actually let's console.log first so we make sure it works so let's do that let's open a terminal new terminal and run our app so npm run start now let's go right click inspect and then go to console and there we go there is the data by the way i'll have the endpoint down in the description so you can follow along with me so here are the data let's minimize the window so now what i want to do with this data is save it to a state so first let's, let's create the state so let's do const data set data and then the use state and by default this will be an array so let's do set data and let's set data to that one right here now let's go here and use the map function which i'll show you right now how you can do that so we will do data actually we'll first open brackets brackets so first we will open brackets and then we'll do data dot map so whenever we run data data dot map inside of dot map we have to pass a callback so we will open parentheses and then an arrow and then open brackets and here what we have to do is on this callback we take a parameter which we can call whatever we want so let's do data actually let's do country because for each element of the array we get a country and then inside of this dot map callback we will return a div and inside of this div we will return the country dot name and let's return the country dot code okay let me make sure we get that right so we have so we have the name and then we have the code okay now you have to make sure you use the values it has right here so we have the name and we have the code so let's go back name and code that's great now let's go ahead and see. okay it says data dot map is not a function why is that okay to fix the issue i found another json api which can give us the the countries so i'll replace that endpoint with this one right here so i'll replace the endpoint with a new one and make some adjustments so as you'll see this json is a bit different so we, we have the name and then we get the country by going to common so we'll do dot name dot common and then to get the code let's see where's the, where's the code okay so the code is right here the cca2 so we'll do dot cca2 now let's try this one right here so we'll do refresh and there we go let me zoom out so we'll get the country the code the country the code and so on so that's how you basically do the request we have the actions and we have a state which by default is an empty array otherwise it will give you an error so we have an empty array and then we use the use effect so whenever someone visits the page this function runs and what this function is is axios that get and then we get some data from an endpoint and from that a data we get the response dot data and then we save the data to the data variable the data state then from that data state we do dot map and then for each country we saw the country dot name dot common and then country dot cca2 so that's how it works now let's say your endpoint was kind of slow so what what you can do is if you have an empty array so at the start you will see here we have an empty array in that case what we can do is data dot length equal equal to zero we will instead display an h1 say, saying loading point otherwise then we will map the data so i'll transfer this now the api is quite fast so if i refresh make sure you look up here as you'll see for a split of second we get loading so that's basically it for this video so in this video i showed you how you can use the 
HTTP request from Axios to get some data from an endpoint and then how you can map the data so for each country you saw the country name and the country code so if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my next video on how you can take your app and make it so a user whenever he visits your website he can download your website into an app which is which is called pwa